Right now, this case and this telephoto lens, brand new from Moment, would cost me $215, or 154 Great British Pounds, whereas the equivalent setup from Ulanzi cost me just £46. And today I'm going to try and find out just what the difference is between these two setups that justifies that £108 price difference. Before we start, I said this setup would cost me because I didn't actually pay for it. No, it was, it was ever so kindly sent to me by one of my subscribers, who is also called Dave, coincidentally. So, Dave, thank you so much. This is really... I can't tell you how much I appreciate this, and I hope you're doing well. I genuinely do, and I really hope you enjoy this video featuring your lens. Let's start with the design and build quality of the lenses. I mean, these two have a £93 price difference, so you'd expect more premium materials from Moment. They both feel very solid and very well made, and I honestly can't tell if they're made from the same material or not. Although Moments does feel heavier and it feels more dense, it feels like, like a little tank in your hand, like a little stone. It's obviously a lot more compact and has a very clean, minimal design, whereas Ulanzi's is a lot more open and almost flamboyant with its petal style hood. So based purely on looks, Ulanzi's does seem more substantial, but when you actually pick them up and hold them in your hands, it's Moments that feels more premium. The only thing that really gives the Ulanzi away is this really tacky and cheap looking text on the side that reads 4K HD telephoto whatever. But apart from that, if I hadn't seen either of these two lenses before and I had no idea which one was which, there's really nothing that I can see to indicate a £93 price difference. The main difference then must be in the glass and the only way to find out is to take pictures. But first, let's have a look at these cases. At £14, Ulanzi's is a straightforward, no frills utility case made from ABS plastic. So it's really lightweight, thin and flimsy. So it won't offer much in the way of drop protection, even if Ulanzi says it will. But it is rock solid where the mount meets the lens, which is good enough for me. Seriously, for the price, I really don't need this case to do anything other than allow me to quickly, securely and accurately attach lenses. And it does that very well. At $49.99, Moments on the other hand is a lifestyle case. A case that's appealing whether you're into mobile photography or not. You've got tan leather on the outside, which smells amazing by the way, and a micro suede anti-scratch lining on the inside, while the main body of the case is made from bioplastic TPU, which is a bridge between rubber and plastic, so it's really strong and durable. Plus, these bezels extend ever so slightly out in front of the screen, so when your phone is face down, it's not actually touching the surface. There's no two ways about it, Moments is the far superior case in almost every conceivable way. It's a protective, stylish and comfortable place for your phone, but Ulanzi's actually has it beaten in one very key area that I'll get to a little bit later on. But now the time has come to attach the lenses to the cases and do some shooting. So it's been about three weeks since I filmed that introduction and I've been using these lenses a lot and I feel like now I'm in a really good place to tell you about them. So let's start with focal length. The Ulanzi advertises 65mm, whereas the Moment advertises 58mm. And we are talking about 35mm equivalence here, although I don't really understand measuring these lenses in terms of millimeters because they're teleconverter lenses that sit on top of your phone's built-in lens and magnify its focal length. And they do this across a variety of devices which are all different, so that is a bit of a head scratcher for me. Anyway, despite Ulanzi claiming a 7mm advantage, which is a lot in 35mm equivalent terms, Moments lens appears to be slightly closer, but I think this is because 
of distortion. Now, I'm not a lens expert whatsoever. I'm but a humble photographer and YouTuber and I don't have the means to test these lenses scientifically with charts and graphs and things, nor do I want to, to be honest, because I find it boring. I'm far more interested in seeing actual real world performance and results. However, after going through some of the photos and noticing certain characteristics, I did decide to photograph this grid to get a better idea of what exactly was going on. And it revealed what I suspected, which was some quite significant pin cushion distortion from the Ulanzi. Looking at these images of a model cat, if I overlay the Ulanzi cat over the moment cat, you can see how the distortion has affected it, making the moment lens appear to be closer. But when you correct the Ulanzi's distortion, the two actually seem to be of equal magnification, meaning that the Ulanzi is over promising and under delivering on focal length. Another difference is edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. Right in the centre of the frame, the Ulanzi is actually the sharper lens of the two, and you expect better here from the moment at £125. Moving away from the centre though, and it's a different story. The moment maintains a high level of sharpness right until the edges of the frame, whereas the Ulanzi noticeably softens pretty much immediately. The Ulanzi also flares easily as well, even in seemingly innocuous lighting situations, but the moment doesn't have the same problem. It will flare in certain challenging situations, but it's nowhere near as bad as the Ulanzi. With Boca, both offer a pleasing amount, although because it's not as sharp across the frame, the Ulanzi can sometimes appear to be offering a slightly shallower depth of field, but this isn't the case. The lens is just softer. Apart from that, the two lenses appear to be equal, including how they both exhibit this halo effect. I think it's called spherical aberration caused by the spherical elements within the lens, but again, not a lens expert, very happy to be corrected. Either way, whatever it's called, it doesn't look good. So apart from sensor sharpness and bokeh, the moment lens is objectively better because the Ulanzi's distortion and lack of edge sharpness is visible in most situations, but are they only noticeable when you compare photos taken with the two lenses side by side? Would you even notice them in isolation? Well, to find out, I stopped making notes of which photos were captured with which lens and yeah, to me, it was still pretty obvious. See if you can spot the difference. And that's photography, but what about video? Well, they're both heavy lenses, so you will need counterweights if you want to use a gimbal. However, the Ulanzi is slightly easier to balance at 52 grams compared to the moment's slightly heavier 73 grams. And in terms of performance and results, things are pretty much the same as they were with photo. The Ulanzi distorts, it's not as sharp outside the center, etc. And the fact that video doesn't use as much of the sensor does mitigate these issues, but they are still very obvious in control situations like this. But don't write off the Ulanzi as a video lens just yet, because when you're out in the real world running and gunning, it's different. The focal length these lenses offer along with the compressed background that comes with it and that extra bokeh means they both isolate your subject really well which helps produce some really nice looking video. I love the look of the video shot with both of these lenses and while the moment is still objectively superior, 
the Ulanzi's issues don't jump out at you in the same way that they do with photos. And if you're going for an extra dreamy sort of look, then the Ulanzi's edge softness and distortion could actually help with this straight out of the camera. But overall, it is another W for the moment lens. However, we're not done yet. Because remember when I said back at the start, but Ulanzi's actually has it beaten in one very key area that I'll get to a little bit later on. Well, that area is compatibility. You see, with the moment setup, you're buying into an exclusive ecosystem because this interface only works with moment's own M-series lenses. Whereas Ulanzi uses a much more standard and universal 17 mm thread, which is compatible with lenses and other accessories from other brands. So if you've already invested in a lens or a case from another brand like Uski Vision or Apexel, then Ulanzi will fit right in. There's also accessories to consider. The moment lens comes with a little pouch and a front lens cap, whereas the Ulanzi comes with a hard compartmentalized carry case, a cleaning cloth, two clips, and both lens caps. And this carry case alone is worth its weight in gold. I've got a few of them now, and I use them all the time, whether that's to carry lenses or things like my audio recording equipment, filter mounts, or counterweights. In fact, during the making of this video, the Moment Lens has actually been hitching a ride to and from locations in the Ulanzi carry case. And that brings me to value for money, which is where things start to get a lot more subjective because with value, it's more than just about something being better. We know the moment setup is objectively better. That's a fact, but is it worth it? Is it better enough to justify the extra cost? To some people, it will be, but to others, it won't. Some of you will be watching this right now thinking the, the moment lens looks like overpriced junk, whereas others will be watching it thinking I need top quality for my upcoming projects. So that edge to edge sharpness makes the moment a bargain and it's going to definitely pay for itself. There's also value in make and branding. This lens has the moment logo on it, whereas this one has the Ulanzi logo on it. And that'll mean a lot to certain people regardless of performance and results. Some people will really see value in being part of that exclusive moment ecosystem and that's fine. So what do I think? Well, I think the moment lens is a fantastic lens, obviously. And I really do appreciate its image quality, but what it offers, in my opinion, isn't worth the extra money. I know that I don't think the moment lens is worth the extra money because when I was actually in the market for a telephoto lens for my phone back in March, April of 2020, I didn't buy the moment lens. I went for the Ulanzi. And even now having seen the quality and seen what this lens can do, if something was to happen to this one, if it was to break or something like that, I wouldn't go to shopmoment.com to get a new one. I would look on eBay and the maximum I would want to pay is around 60, 65, maximum 70 pounds. So I do value it enough over the Ulanzi to actually want to replace it, but not enough to pay full price. I would pay full price for the case though. In fact, I have done. I got this one for my 12 Pro. Uh, last week and it, I paid full price as I said which was $80 or £58 and I really like it and if you're in a similar position to me you like the look of Moments products and you don't quite think they're worth paying full price for you can go to shopmoment.com and get some good deals on cases you can save yourself quite a bit of money there they are heavily discounted uh, quite often or as you've seen, you can go to eBay and you can get like this moment set up for around half the price and get it in some really nice condition. So thanks again to Dave for sending this lens to me. Dave, this video would not have been possible without you. Uh, but Dave didn't only send me this telephoto lens. He also sent me moments 
18 millimeter ultra wide lens. So I'm, I'm, I'm of course, if I can get my words out, I'm of course going to make a video about that as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you've enjoyed this video, all of the ways to support me are linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and back around. Fun fact, B-roll isn't always what it seems. <laughs> Question everything. Okay, levels, 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 levels. Levels, 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 levels. Cool. Right. Levels, levels, levels are done. Recording is go. So, quick run through. Right now, this case and this telephoto lens from Moment, brand new from Moment, Right now, this case and this telephoto lens, brand new from Moment, would cost me $215, or 154 of the Queen's British, the Great British Pounds. It's Great British Pounds. It's not the Queen's Pound, the Britain's Pound. Okay. Right now, this case and this telephoto lens from Moment, brand new from Moment. Dave, are you trying to sabotage yourself with the easiest... You've given yourself the easiest introduction possible and you can't even do it. It's, I think it's too early in the morning. Okay. At $49.99, Moments on the other hand is a lifestyle case. A case that's appealing whether you're into mobile photography or not. At $49.99, Moments on the other hand is a lifestyle case. A case that's appealing whether you're in the sun or not. I couldn't have picked a worse spot, could I? I'm going to be so blown out. <sighs> it's like, it's like I couldn't have planned it any better or worse, depending on what you're trying to do. Seriously, it's not coming through anywhere else. It's right, coming through right in my face. Can you go away? Just like go behind the cloud or a tree, please go away. Still not yet, go away. I know I'm still going to be blown out. I can't see the screen, but I know I'm going to be blown out. Hey, I'll wait. See, here's what happens. I'm supposed to get dejected now and I'm supposed to pack everything away because it looks like it's just me here. And, and it is, but I've got uh, my iPad down there with my notes on a little stool and I've got my bag behind me uh, with, with another tripod in and other bits of gear like the bag for my microphone and things like that. Uh, so I'm supposed to, um, it's not much, but I'm supposed to pack it all the way fold up the tripod, uh, collapse the tripod and try somewhere else, by which time the sun is gone here. And since it knows, I see, it's just messing with me now. Um, filming in public, 101, something will always happen, whether it's uh, nature, like the sun, um, the rain, or people, or dogs, or animals, or Anything, something will happen, okay? <coughs> Let's go. Okay. All oh, right. Oh, I'm at that point in filming now where I'm starting to second guess myself, second, third, fourth, fifth guess myself, and I'm saying the same things over and over again out of fear that the previous take had, I don't know, that, that this next take will be I don't know, it's hard to describe why. So I need to snap out of it because I know what I'm doing is is all right. And every time I do this, I end up using the first take anyway. Um, so like when I first started filming, like maybe an hour ago now, I was just nailing everything straight away. And now I'm just like, oh, I'll, I'll do this like seven times. I don't even know how to describe what's going on. but. Anyway, I'm going to carry on filming. Let's try and get this next one nailed, nailed. And um, when I do feel like this, 
and I start to feel not down but um, I don't know not not nervous either I'm not nervous I'm just unsure that's it I'm unsure of myself and and what I'm doing from for no logical reason and I always start off so enthusiastic and then slowly slowly it's like I don't even know anyway let's go let's go Lego right Dave you're doing this for your living you're doing this so you're so your wife and yourself can make a living don't forget that come on you can do it you can do it Dave you can do it you can do it what was that thing in uh, what's it called Wolf of Wall Street doing this what was the noise he made <laughs> I don't even know why I feel better straight away okay let's go what am I saying uh, the main difference then must be in the glass okay I hope you're in focus by the way lens the main difference then must be in the glass and the only way to find out is to take pictures but first let's have a look at these cases <laughs> 